So, welcome to the Sports Marketing and Media Bachelor of Science degree program. I'm Josh Mora. I am the program director and the architect, the creator of this program. And if I can be just a little bit immodest, this degree program is unlike anything else that's being taught anywhere in sports marketing or sports business education. And we know this because we are teaching to the bleeding outer boundary of where the industry itself is today. So indulge me for a minute by letting us tell you our story. Because as it turns out, our story is a love story. We love sports. And we love the business of sports. And we love teaching all of our students who come to us loving the business of sports, all of the cool aspects about the business of sports. So when they come to us loving sports, they learn to love the business of sports. And we love that our students and our graduates are going to change the business of sports. And maybe I can illustrate this best visually. Do you love sports? Learn the new set of skills that the industry needs with a degree from Full Sail University. Use digital media and video to create experiences. Start conversations and engage fans by connecting with them, wherever they are. Use marketing and PR to build the excitement for events and promotions and help teams, brands, and organizations make an impact. So that's pretty exciting, right? I mean, every time I see that little, that little video, it makes me want to come screaming out of the tunnel and kick the crap out of the Green Bay Packers. But that's just me. I'm, I'm a Chicago Bears fan. And uh, uh, come to this position, having worked in sports business and sports marketing and media for about 18 years, mostly on the media side, uh, covered sports on television uh, in Chicago and in New York, wrote as a blogger for sports and media and financial websites, was briefly uh, an executive for an entertainment company in Chicago as well. But what's really relevant about that is how we've used some of my connections and some of my experiences, and subsequently the connections and experiences of our faculty to help create a curriculum that provides our students with a skill set that is relevant for today's sports business. So if you think about it, it does make sense that Full Sail, which, you know, after all, we do not play football on Saturday afternoons, right, as a university, but it makes sense that we would be involved in sports business or sports marketing. Because sports, yes, it's about touchdowns and scoring goals and home runs, but it's also entertainment. Entertainment is sports. So when I arrived at Full Sail, we immediately launched a research campaign that lasted several months. We talked to hundreds of people from a variety of different types of positions and different levels and different types of companies within the sports business industry. And what we heard from them with near unanimity was that they were having trouble connecting their more experienced Gen X aged sales guys, those guys and people who are really good at, at the retail relationships in sports business and business development with the new ways in which younger generations, the millennials, communicate with each other and communicate about sports. And to that end, we felt, hey, there's something that isn't being taught anywhere else, but is very much rooted in full sales core competencies. So to rephrase that just a little bit, the way in which fans and consumers now ingest sports product has changed very rapidly over the past few years. In fact, it's still changing. It's constant uh, evolution and revolution. And what the people uh, whom we interviewed were telling us was they were and their companies were leaving money-making opportunities on the table behaving inefficiently, in large part, not because they didn't understand the change, but they didn't know how to deal with the change. They lacked the talent and the labor force to be able to help them do that job. So we developed uh, a mission statement to go along with the program. The mission of the sports marketing and media program is to prepare students to become dynamic, media-fluent innovators in sports marketing through a curriculum that synchronizes traditional sports marketing principles with advanced media technologies. Let's repeat that. Our mission is to prepare students to be 
dynamic. Media-fluent innovators in sports marketing by synchronizing traditional sports marketing principles with advanced media technologies. In other words, we're teaching them how to conduct business by promoting media and art. We're giving them a skill set that matters for the jobs that are relevant now, but we're also positioning them to invent what comes next in sports marketing and in particular in fan engagement. So a little bit of history as to why this is necessary. I'm old enough to remember a time when sports properties had one obligation, and by properties I mean teams, events, uh, companies, networks, agencies, etc. They, they had one obligation, and that was engage you as a fan while you were attending their event live and in person. And then in the 80s, suddenly every event started to be broadcast on television, and so their obligation was doubled. Entertain you while you're at the game or at the event, and entertain you while you're at home watching on television. And in the 90s, right, we suddenly had the internet. And a fan could reach out to an organization 24-7. But it was still very much a one-way conversation. It was that property making available what they wanted to make available to you, the fan. And then in the first decade of the 21st century, with social media, those conversations became two-way conversations. And they became multifaceted. And fans started sharing ideas and assets of a sports property outside of the control of that sports property. Now, most of our students don't know anything about any of that when they come to us, and that's fine. It's our job to take them down the rabbit hole. Our goal is to help them see how that creates opportunities for them in terms of what their careers might be. And our challenges are to give them the language in which sports business is conducted to help them understand the vernacular and the terminology of the philosophies and the practices. And as importantly, or maybe more importantly, it's to give them that skill set that matters now, to teach them how to understand and create and control content and to apply it to sports business fundamentals and current practices. Now, we have a faculty that consists of 22 other people, and they come from incredible backgrounds. They've worked for great companies. ESPN, the Miami Heat, the Tampa Bay Rays, the San Diego Chargers, uh, Livestrong, Virginia Tech University Athletics. We also have an international chess champion on our faculty. Uh, they are a tremendous team, and it is my honor to be able to uh, work with them and to lead them. Our goal, our responsibility, is to have our students graduate with the ability to connect the traits of individual aspects of sports business, aspects that heretofore have existed pretty much in their own vertical silos, right? Your marketing department, your communications department, your community relations department. All of those things are converging. We get great input from our nine-person advisory board, which is made up of unbelievably accomplished executives from a variety of different types of companies in sports, teams, agencies, governing bodies, and so on. Uh, they are visiting with us twice a year. They inform us about what's going on in the industry, what they see as the next trends of the industry. They contribute to and analyze our curriculum to help make sure that we are on that outer boundary. And of course, they've provided some wonderful opportunities for our students, including one-off projects, internships, and job placement as well. We have other industry experts, yes, our members of our advisory board, but others as well, who come in and do guest lectures in our classes, both on campus and online. We also reverse that process and take our students out of the classroom, both on campus and online, so that they can have experiences. Uh, starting at 9 o'clock on this uh, screen behind me, you've got one that we did with the PGA show and the Golf Channel, uh, moving clockwise. Uh, Orlando City Soccer and the Citrus Bowl, ESPN Wide World of Sports, uh, the Central Florida Sports Commission, which puts on a lot of the events that are here in Florida, including the NCAA basketball tournament. Uh, that's Max Starks, the big guy in the middle there uh, on the uh, bottom, the former NFL player and his football camp that we had students to. The point of showing all of this to you is not to boast about who our friends are in the industry. It's to afford our students the opportunity 
to have a real tactile sense of how great sports product is fueled by created content. It allows them real world experiences, real time opportunities for things that are going to be produced and used. And maybe most importantly, it helps them connect with the people who are running these projects. And it gets them started on building a network that helps them launch their careers. Because ultimately, in the end, that's where they want to be, right? They want to be out in a career in this really fun, really passionate field. And they always question, well, where am I going to be when I'm through uh, with that walk through your program? So I've assembled a list here of a dozen or so jobs that are available right now in the industry. I guarantee you that if a student started with us today and finished with us in two and a half years, two or three of these jobs won't exist. Or at the very least, they will exist in a way that is different from how they exist today. And that's fine. We teach our students as best as we can to be mostly platform agnostic, right? It makes sense. I mean, if you think, think back several years ago, you had MySpace. And MySpace begets Facebook. And then Pinterest. And Twitter. And Instagram. And Vines. And Snapchat. There is always going to be a next thing. We teach our students to understand where we are and how we got here. And if they understand those things, they can predict what might be coming next. We are teaching them how to combine their ability to understand art and business for sports so that they can become the innovators of 21st century sports marketing and fan engagement. Look, in the end, this is, this is all about the passion of sports. We love sports and we love the business of sports. And we believe that our students who come to us loving sports are going to leave loving the business of sports and going to be successful in the business of sports. And we believe this because we believe that we are teaching them through a very unique program, that we have an interdependent team of faculty and advisors and other resources here that are instructing them in a skill set that is going to give them a significant competitive advantage when they go out looking for jobs to get into this highly competitive field. And we believe that our students and graduates are going to have an enormous positive impact on the companies that hire them. And we believe that to the extent that Full Sail has a great reputation in its more established uh, fields of entertainment, right? Music and film and gaming and the like, that the students and graduates of this program are going to fulfill that reputation and extend that reputation in this other field of entertainment, which is sports. And what we've already seen from the industry's involvement with our students and the way that they have already begun to soak up our graduates and hire our graduates is that the industry loves the graduates of Full Sail Sports Marketing and Media Program. Thank you very much.